In this room is the next contender in our countdown of extreme eaters. It's not biological educator Dave Reihard, but it is the most poisonous animal on the planet. Hiding away at number three in the countdown is an animal with such an extreme diet that it can produce a poison 25 times more lethal than cobra venom. Surely you'd have to be crazy to go anywhere near poison dart frogs. Now in the wild, I would not want to pick one of these little guys up because their skin secretions are so toxic they can be absorbed right into my skin without being bitten and they're powerful enough to kill a grown man. Dave is in no danger because these frogs were raised in captivity. To find poisonous poison dart frogs, you need to travel to the jungles of South America. Poison dart frogs are number three in the countdown because they make use of a deadly diet. Here, it seems you really are what you eat. In the wild, these frogs eat ants. Somehow they convert the highly toxic alkaloids in ant venom into the poison they store in their skin. But frogs are not the only ones eating insects. In your lifetime, you can expect to eat about half a kilogram of bugs. That's because insects like eating the same things we do, and sometimes they can get caught up in the process of food manufacturing. Because of the way we process our food, most of us will never recognize the insects that end up on our kitchen table. But fear not. In the United States, the FDA is looking out for you. By law, you'll never find more than 30 insect eggs in a pot of tomato paste, 20 maggots in a can of mushrooms, or a block of chocolate that has more than 80 insect fragments. So the next time you feel an annoying tickle when you swallow, the chances are high that it's not a frog in your throat. Oh, dear. Unlike us, this is one frog that loves swallowing insects because without its deadly diet, this extreme eater is just another pretty amphibian. It's not easy being a meerkat. This little African mongoose lives in one of the harshest environments on Earth, the Kalahari Desert. The meerkat is number two in the countdown because it lives in a land full of dangers, especially in its deadly diet. Just finding something to eat can take most of the day. Especially when you have to keep your eyes peeled for dangers from above. Every mealtime, meerkats can face much bigger dangers than a martial eagle. Meerkats are number two in the countdown because they just love eating scorpions. Eating such a deadly diet requires some special behaviors. The first thing to do is to get rid of that venomous sting.
Meerkats are number two in the countdown because even if they get stung, they've developed a certain amount of immunity to scorpion venom. A useful tool when you eat one of the most venomous animals on the planet. Most people would find a scorpion a little hard to swallow. But would you find it more appetizing if it were dipped in chocolate? Desert scorpions become dessert scorpions at one of the most unusual candy stores in the world. Hotlix of Pismo Beach, California manufactures the only candy apples on the planet where the worms are on the outside. Ten years ago, Larry Peterman started putting tequila worms in tequila flavored lollipops. What started off as a gimmick is now a flourishing business. After all, there's no reason why we can't eat bugs. And carbohydrates, good stuff, you know, it actually is a very good food for you. Uh, not too long ago in the Bosnian War, when a pilot was downed, he lived on insects. And people all around the world have been eating insects for years. Our Western culture doesn't appreciate them as much as other cultures do. A meerkat doesn't need a chocolate coating to sweeten its poisonous prey. And yet, not even a meal of scorpion venom is as deadly as the diet of the most extreme eater in the countdown. We've seen the nine contenders. They're the best of the best. Only one animal is a more extreme eating machine. It's number one, and it's coming up next on the most extreme. The number one most extreme eater in the countdown has the world's deadliest diet. Deadly and disgusting. Rotting flesh contains dangerous bacteria like cholera and anthrax. When dealing with these killer bugs, you have to take extreme precautions. After all, Botulism bacteria produce the most lethal substance on the planet. Just one part per trillion is enough to kill you. So it's no wonder that humans are paranoid about rotting flesh. At the first sign of death and decay, we leave food well alone. But one animal eats the most lethal substances on the planet like candy. Soaring in to number one in the countdown is the vulture. Thanks to its incredible nose, a vulture can literally smell death a mile away. And something that stinks to high heaven is a sure sign that dinner is served. The vulture is number one in the countdown because it can eat rotting flesh that would kill other animals. That's because the vulture has a stomach of steel. The vulture's stomach acids are so strong that they'll destroy almost all bacteria. Biologists have also discovered that the nervous system of the turkey vulture is resistant to botulism and its immune system is powerful enough to deal with most bacterial toxins. There is one thing that not even a vulture would touch. At sideshows by the seashore at Coney Island, this man is cooking up something special. 
Meet the amazing Blazing Tyler Fire. For the children watching this and for the adults who like to act like children watching this, don't try this at home. Reading is is the big act. It's the exciting act. It's the one that everyone wants to learn and to get in on, and it is a lot of fun to perform. There is not a trick to fire eating. Legions of people throughout the world are convinced that it's cold fire, it's trick fire, it's canned fire of some kind. And then there are people that say, oh, well, it's that special gel that you put on your mouth beforehand. And I tell you, there are a lot of days I wish that were true. But if there were, in fact, such a burn-proof, flame-proof gel, firemen wouldn't have to wear yellow suits anymore. So while it's not a trick, there is a technique to fire eating. There's a, a way to control and manipulate the fire that keeps it from actually burning the flesh. Vultures may not eat fire, but they do enjoy a good barbecue. Cooked, raw or rotting, vultures will eat any flesh. A diet this disgusting is enough to make you sick, and it can even make a vulture throw up. But that's only because it's eaten so much that it needs to lighten the load so it can get off the ground. With table manners like this, it's no wonder that when it comes to eating, the vulture really is the most extreme. <laughs> 